You know, I started working with the uh, Russian people back in 1987. This was still during the Cold War. It was the Soviet Union at that time. I remember my first flight to, to Moscow, and uh, my best friend, Viktor Boyarsky, a scientist at the Antarctic Arctic Research in St. Petersburg, was our partner on the expedition. And, and I talked with him and uh, many of his scienti scientist friends and uh, the question, they were so friendly, and I, I questioned, I asked them, you know, I thought, I thought we were enemies. He said, <laughs> said no, no, we like Americans. Uh, he said, uh, you know, you, you were our partners in World War II. You saved us in World War II. Um, I have many Russian friends. I, I spent a lot of time in the Soviet Union in Russia later. And, uh, and some of my closest friends are Russians. And I, uh, I met a lot of the scientists and we bonded you know within a very short period of time which is unusual you don't see that happening in our american culture but uh but the russian culture and the russian spirit is uh i miss it a lot i really wish i was i wish i was there right now but um but i'll be traveling alone in the wilderness when you're hear me talking building the this type of personal relationship is uh what, what is most important. And it's important for us to meet on a one-to-one -one, like we're doing today. Uh, we need to go over to Russia. Uh, more, more Americans, more Minnesotans go to Russia to see the reality of the people there and, and back and forth. But it's the, I always see it's the building of the personal relationship first.